Today, Kevin and I are going to be going over our likes and dislikes for the month of February. I told you at the end of last month we'd be back before you know it, but um, February is a very short month. We only have 28 days. But we, so we have a lot of stuff. We do. We do have a lot of stuff for the short amount of time. And we, <laughs> we have a lot of dislikes. We have one, two, three, four, five dislikes for the month of February, which is more than we've had some full months. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just gonna get these over with first. And these are the Benton's Strawberry Hearts. Uh, the Benton's is an Aldi brand. These tasted like pepperoni. They were not good. <laughs> they were weird. They were weird. <laughs> they, 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 they were so pretty. We tried these and another, maybe a raspberry or something, but the strawberry tasted like pepperoni. It was the oddest thing. Mm. They were I, don't, I don't remember thinking that it tasted like pepperoni, but I they did that. taste I bad. They didn't taste good. It just, they're so pretty, and I would totally use them for like a decoration, but not to eat. Mm. So, if you're going to use them for like some kind of centerpiece you're doing for Valentine's Day, apparently, these are there every year. People have told me, oh, those are there. Well, I will know next year. No, well, nay, nay. Hopefully, you'll remember. Yeah, do not <laughs> buy those because they are not good. Um, then, we have these. These were sent to us from Daniel. They are the Global Brands Snack Time Stack Pack Crackers. And... Um, we compared these to Ritz crackers. They're no. not Ritz crackers. No, no they crackers. were no, I mean, not even close. They're just terrible, terrible, terrible crackers. Yeah. And I think Daniel told me that he had not actually eaten them. Tried that them. he, yeah, he. I think he got them in a box of something. Decided to include them, which it doesn't matter. You know, um, you all like things that we don't, and vice versa. So even if Daniel had not liked them, there's nothing wrong with no. that. But we did not, you know, it's Ritz all the way for us. So um, these are the Max uh, bars, the uh, chocolate sea salt bars. I wrote uh, dry and bitter. Dry and bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Those are from Aldi as well. Right. Yeah, and and I do remember these. They were very very dry, like mm -hmm. like no moisture at all, and um, bitter bitter bitter. I'm going to be honest with you. I like Aldi for a lot of things. I really do. But for the most part, I would I don't care for most of their bars. Right. They're just either they're okay or I don't like them. They're not stellar to me. To me, they aren't as good as the uh, uh, name brands. Right. They're just not. And I, that's just one of those... Aldi things, and you might really love the bars at Aldi, uh, but for us, it's been more um, a miss than a hit. Uh, so then uh, we have these. These were Brownie Points Gourmet Brownie Bites Chocolate Caramel Sea Salt, and I wrote on here, the caramel tasted off, like it had gone bad. So, uh, and they're still in here. The bag's still full. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we weren't going to need more of them. No, this is something that I, we had looked forward to. We thought would be uh, very, very tasty. Yeah, because other brownie bites have been good. Yes. So, these just missed the mark. For mm -hmm. some reason, these were not good at all. They were bad enough to make it into the... If some things we, we don't like, but they don't make it into this video. These were really, really bad, or they wouldn't have made it uh, to this point. I'll let you read your notes. I'm, I can't read my notes. Um, <laughs> I can't read what I actually wrote on the back of this because... Um, she was in a mood when she wrote I was it. in a mood when I wrote it. Um, I wrote, they taste like literal... Crap. Beep. Uh, crap. crap. Yes, that's what I wrote. Um, <laughs> they were awful. They, they were horrible. Yeah. Horrible. I mean, we've had some bad cookies. Those are really bad cookies. Really? These are the Eats brand. <laughs> they came from Family Dollar. Um, I thought, ooh, Oreo, you know, you can compare these to Oreo. No, these were absolutely horrible. Um, but, but they had other Eats brand cookies that were really that good. That were fine, so, yeah. yeah. Especially the ones that are knockoffs of the Girl Scout cookies. Yes, yeah, they were good. Those were impressive. Um, we actually said, I don't know if we said it during the video, but I know we said it to ourselves after. The ones that are uh, from the Family Dollar, the Eats brand, that are like the Samoas, um, or were those the peanut butter ones? One of them had a chocolate layer 
instead of maybe those were the peanut butter ones mm -hmm. anyway we said we would rather have those than that i have the actual girl scout cookies both the peanut butter patty and the samoas they were just really really they good were, cookies really good. um so that is all the ones that we dislike so now everything else is going to be more positive um so you want you me to it. start you got more okay these are uh these were uh, the hampton candy company this same company uh, is the one that makes the popcorn popcorn tins this is a uh, cosmo bears and we found these i'm pretty sure at uh world market Re world market is is good about selling the hampton candy company so I've also seen it in places like Tuesday morning, but if you're looking for it, you don't have like a Tuesday morning, World Market is a great place for those. But these Cosmo Bears, they were, um, they were big and they were a great size and they just had a terrific flavor. Mm -hmm. So they, Hampton does more than popcorn. And then I had one. Oops. He's dropping. I'm dropping everything. Everything's <laughs> stacked up over here. I um, stacked it up. These are the Lady May's Gourmet Gummy t uh, Teddies. They're vegan teddy bears. They're vegan um, gummy bears. Um, this one is the um, Strawberry Champagne. Um, I finished these off. They mm -hmm. um, the the good thing about these were they were like a gelatin kind of texture, kind of like you'd get um, like a thicker um, jelly is what really the texture was like. Um, the flavors were really good, but the textures were really nice too. So they were different. They're, they're not really calling them, well, they're calling them gummies, but they weren't really gummies that I would consider. Uh, they were more of like a jelly than a gummy. They were, they were excellent that. though. And I think those came from like Marshalls or somewhere like that. Um, it's on the very, very, it's in the fold. No. Nope, it's not in the fold. No. I took it off. I think it's <laughs> from Marshalls. Uh, these were bought at once again world market uh these are the juju uh oh, we, jujubes. yeah the the nougat and the sour mm -hmm. so these these were in you can buy the little juju candies without the nougat i really liked it in that nougat mm -hmm. it was it was just a terrific little bar and i'm thinking these were lower calorie yeah 160 calories uh, they were just a very, very, if you're wanting like a, just a shot of something sweet and something on the go, uh, then this would be a nice little treat. Yeah, the nougat was almost like a cream candy almost, mm -hmm. except softer. Yeah, it was nice. You can go ahead. I think you still have more than that. Okay. Nice. These, let me take them out of here, were sent to us from Jennifer. These are the Biquette and we chose as our favorite flavors, these are Biquette Caramels. Uh, we chose, oh no, I thought it had the name. Oh, it does. Uh, let's see. This is the, hold on, because I was going to give you the name of our favorite ones out of this. Salted Butterscotch. And this is, I think, just Butterscotch. But, there this brand. Go. The textures were so good. Yes. And then, after all of these flavors were gone, I went back and there was like a Celtic sea salt. Mm -hmm, those person. were good too. Um, yes. So uh, this bag is, it's excellent. It's very, very dangerous to have in your house though because. You want to eat them all. You want to eat them all. They're just so delicious. Mm -hmm. Very um, rich. Yeah. Uh, they're made in Bozeman, Montana. Biquette Confections. I would suggest you visit their website and look into those because they're, they're just really awesome. Good. Yeah. All right, so I have the um, the Dots homestyle snacks. These are the baked cheese curls, kind of like a um, um, a cheat, like a Cheeto or something like that. And um, I can't read it. Lindsay and David sent us those from, from Minnesota. Yeah, I can't, I can't read. Um, the um, the flavor was good. It was like a Cheeto with a little spice to it because the Dots have a little spice to them. Um, they were good. They weren't quite as good as a Cheeto. I'd rather have a Cheeto. But they were different enough where I really I, I put my favorites because they were different than a Cheeto. So if you like Cheetos and you want something a little different, then these would be good to try. Because I like the flavor a lot. The texture was just a little different. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I like I actually like the flavor better of these. Because they have a seasoning to they them. They have a seasoning on them that Cheetos don't have. Right. So I would I would buy these all the time. However, the texture. Yeah, the texture is a softer. The texture softer. Almost it, like a stale Cheeto. Yes, that's what it, it. That's what it's like, and that that sounds negative, but it, I mean it is. It, it it's like you've left them out overnight, and they've gotten soft. Yeah, and they were fine. They weren't open or no. Or there was nothing wrong with them. Like no, so. it's just that's the texture yeah. of them. So 
No I agree with you. Flavor wise, would, if Cheetos had this flavor, then I would get it. Oh, yeah. Or if these had crunchier texture, then I would get these. Yes, yeah. I would buy them again if they were crunchy. As they are, I personally would not get those again because they're not crunchy enough right. for me. But I ate all of them. So. Uh, but <laughs> they were I really do good. love the flavor. Yeah, the flavor was got like the like a nature seasoning kind of flavor to it. Just like the Dodge pretzels did. It's the same seasoning. So you showed that from Lindsay and David. So I'm going to show this from Lindsay and David. Uh, these are the Mamba Magic Sticks. Mm, I loved these. Uh, this is something else that's dangerous to have in the house because I went back and ate every one of the... They had <laughs> cherry, apple, pineapple, orange, mango, strawberry, and watermelon, raspberry. I went back and the first one that got eaten, all of them, uh, was the pineapple orange. I loved it. They I thought good. it was absolutely delicious. Uh, and they're good textures too. Yeah. And the, and texture. Yeah. This, it's just a terrific snack. And I still don't think I've seen these in our area. Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember seeing um, these. I've, I've seen the mamba, of course, mm -hmm. uh, the little chews, but I have not seen these sticks still. Mm -hmm. So uh, we appreciate you sending those to us. Um, I'm going to do this. This is the Milka Max Max. This was the almond and caramel. Um, such a good flavor. I mean, and Milka bars, Milka and Cadbury are, are some of our favorites. Mm -hmm. And because um, they're so creamy, the chocolate is. And then this one added a really sweet um, caramel to it. And you got the little almond pieces too. And you can really taste it all. It was just overall just a really good bar. Yes. Uh, and it is as big as that package shows. <laughs> if you haven't watched the review, it's literally that big. They sell a lot of those at World Market. Mm -hmm. So if you have never tried uh, Milka, I would highly recommend you go in World Even Market. Even just a regular candy bar. And it's the, a regular milk of chocolate. The price isn't bad. I'm thinking that was like maybe two ninety nine, but I mean for the size that you're getting, it that's a big Yeah, thing. three or four dollars would be fair to pay for for this. Yeah, size that's bar, awesome. Because it's huge. Um this this mix, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. This mix was sent to us from Daniel. So, Daniel, you saw in the ones we hated, the crackers we hated. Um, if you watched um, this uh, video of the best choice, superior selections, maple pecan shortbread bar mix, it did not turn out right. It was watery. It, it was just, runny. it was runny. It did not turn out right. And, um, there a lot of people have different theories why it didn't turn out right. That's fine, uh, but it tasted awesome. It tasted good. Awesome. I loved the shortbread base in all of these mixes that Daniel sent us. The shortbread base in all of them was absolutely delicious. It was so good that. Honestly, I wouldn't have had to have had anything on top of it. I could just, just eat that part. Just eat the shortbread. Yes. Uh, just eat the shortbread, and I would have loved it just as much. But this was terrific. Um, the maple wasn't uh, chemical. Uh, it had a great uh, amount of pecan. It was sweet, yeah. super, super sweet. Had the sugary kind of gritty texture to it. It was, it was delicious. Yeah. So even though in the video it looked ugly, very ugly, it was so good, and yeah, I enjoyed it every good. bit of it. And you know what? And it was thicker. It wasn't like it was water. It was thicker than that. So it was just, it was a slow run, like a really runny caramel. Yeah, you know, so. I'm just thinking it wasn't, it might it didn't turn perfect. out like theirs turned out, but it was still really good. So. All right. So I'm going to do the maple, the maple leaf um, cream cookies from Meyer, And we both like any, any kind of maple cookie, we've, we've liked a lot of them, but these were just excellent cookies. The textures were good, the flavor weren't overpoweringly chemically maple. Yeah, they were just good. I cookies. think the reason we liked them so much is because they didn't have as strong of a maple mm -hmm. as other uh, maple leaf cookies yeah. do. It wasn't like a punch in the face maple. Let me tell you the theory in the comments about these. Uh, they are from Canada. I have heard at least, I think, like three people commented they think those are dare cookies packaged for Meyer because they're from Canada. Um, that doesn't surprise me because we like dare. Well, we you know like what, dare. These aren't as strong as dare, though. Dare has a little bit more of a that's maple That's what flavor. I thought, too. I thought because we've had the dare maple leaf. Mm -hmm. I, that's why it was a theory, but I'm like, yeah, but you haven't tasted them because these didn't. And some of them we really didn't care for, mm -hmm. but yet we really, really like the dare. So it's like, okay, did they use a little bit of a different recipe then? Because you know that some of the same companies 
make it and they'll put their own spin on it. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so Dare cookies, even if Dare made them for Meyer, it may be still a Meyer's recipe. Right. It's a, yes, it could absolutely be because I do think this is a different recipe because they're not as strong. They're not as strong maple, but but they're still very good. But the Dare cookies are also very good too. But yeah, I we think, love Dare. But I do think the Dares are just a little stronger maple. I do too. I agree with yeah. you. Yeah. But they could very well be made by the same company. That happens all the time. This was the uh, Jamaican Vibes uh, Rum Cake. Very good. Absolutely uh, wonderful. These uh, were mailed to us all the way from the UK. Uh, every one of them was absolutely delicious. Excellent quality. If uh, if you were looking for a rum cake and you are, even if you were, are not in the UK, um, at the time that we reviewed these, she was offering free shipping worldwide. to, yeah, worldwide, which is a big deal because it's expensive to ship anywhere. I mean, even in your own, I'm here, from state to state, it's expensive. So imagine shipping this heavy rum cake all the way from the UK. You're getting quite the deal mm -hmm. um, for free shipping. And it was very, very good. I don't know if they're still offering that or not, but uh, they are on Instagram. So if you type in Jamaica Vibes, if you type it in V-I-B-E-Z, uh, they're on Instagram and uh, they do a terrific job. Uh, so really enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, Caramel Delights Girl Scout cookies. What more do you need to say? I know. <laughs> They're, they were excellent. They were yeah. really good. Could, probably out of all of them, these are some of our favorite. Were the Caramel Delight yeah. cookies. Yeah. Yeah. And as a kid, well, as a kid, I didn't eat coconut, so yeah. I really didn't know my love of coconut. And see, these were always my favorite. Yeah. And uh, I think probably, I think the peanut butter sandwich are still going to be my favorite Girl Scout. But second, I would choose those. Yeah, these are these are yeah. for me. These are top they're of the wonderful. line. Wonderful. Yeah, they're, they got the chewiness. They got yes, the crunch. Yes, I love the texture. Um, you get the little pieces of coconut. Yeah, it's just you can't can't go wrong with these. No. If you like coconut at all or caramel, then these these are the way to go. And they don't have a, a off putting fake coconut flavor mm -hmm. either. It's not too no. much. No, it's it's a perfect balance of everything. And if you don't like coconut, there's so many other Girl Scout cookies. They're all really pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Now, these might surprise some people that I'm putting these in this video. The reason I'm putting these, because, the reason it might surprise some people is because they're, they, not, sealed. they're not sealed. We uh, have made it a rule for ourselves that we're not going to buy, a, uh, why would we uh, support companies that don't seal their ice creams? Um, we're just not going to do that. However, I picked these up in... Um, uh, World Whole, Mark? No, Whole, Whole Foods. Foods. Whole Foods. I picked these up in Whole Foods, and I didn't even think to look for a seal. So it's a local company too. Yes, they're local, and uh, but a lot of other uh, there's uh, other companies like that that do use a seal. So they could. It's something they might start doing in the future. Um, so. I didn't like it that they weren't sealed, but we already had them, so we reviewed them. And I actually love these two flavors. This is the bourbon ball. And this is the salted caramel. Top of the line. Top, yeah. I mean, excellent, excellent ice cream. And they do have a scoop shop, so if, if we ever want these flavors, we can absolutely go in and there. And go to the actual store. And go to the <laughs> actual store. It would probably be cheaper than to buy them in Whole Foods <laughs> anyway, uh, because they were pricey. But... If you ever get the chance, if they're on Gold Belly or a web, some kind of website where you can get ice cream delivered to your home, uh, I, we wanted you to know that these are good flavors. Just don't expect them to be sealed because they're not. But so, they come straight from the company. They come straight from the company, yes. So. Um, I have four more, well, three more things. Well, here, I'll say these. This is the uh, Philadelphia Cheesecake Crumble. This one was the cherry. And uh, I thought it was absolutely delicious. It tasted just like cheesecake. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was good. And I like the cherry flavor at the mm, best. The cherry was really good. Yes. These um, these are nice little desserts, though. It's something special to have uh, in the refrigerator. Yeah, like a little indulgent treat. Yes, they're 290 calories, and you get two desserts um, in each container. And... Uh, 
you know, if you didn't want to eat it all at once, you wouldn't have to. You could put the lid back on it. Uh, but I think you're going to eat it all at once, well, you know, once you add those crumbles to the top. I, the crumbles, honestly, I personally could do without them completely. They were hard and they were bigger chunks. And so um, I could do without the crumble at all and just eat the cherry and the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I thought that was absolutely delicious. Yeah, the crumble is almost like crumbled up cookie instead of. Yeah, crust. it was it was bigger chunks. Yeah. Um, if they if it had been more of a powder, uh, I would have liked it more uh, a lot more. Yeah, right. I can do mine. Um, so these are the Carolina kettle. These are was this Aldi? No, those those were sent to us, I think. Oh, okay. Um, Carolina Kettle Down East Carolina Barbecue. And you took the sticker off. So we I took the sticker off. I was <laughs> thinking that Daniel sent those to us. I, I'm pretty sure Daniel sent those if to not, us. If not, we're sorry. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But these are excellent. They had a really good barbecue flavor. They had a little bit of spice to them. Uh, the textures are really mm -hmm. good. Just, there was nothing wrong with these chips. So if you see these in your area, yeah, you could definitely try them out. We've seen that brand in Tuesday morning before, and uh, we've reviewed that brand before, and and they are really good yeah. potato chips. We just don't see them a lot in no, our area. No, do they, we? We, we don't have many of our actual just store stores. Right. So I have the Magnum. These are the Magnum Double Chocolate Vanilla Truffle Bars. These were. Um, they're just incredible and i tell you why i like them so much is because they have like an the outer layer is crunchy and then you go get through that outer crunchy layer and right on the inside is like a layer of a fudge mm -hmm. like a softer yes a, thick, a softer a thick hot fudge like yes a thick chocolate deep chocolate um and then you get through that and you get to the ice cream part these um mm -hmm. uh they're just absolutely wonderful most magnum bars are pretty good they're yes. just very expensive for, for they are expensive get. you only get three in the package now if you get the minis you get more minis of course i think you get like 10 of those or something like that but uh, i i love the size of these they're um 260 calories per bar so as much as a candy bar right. uh so if you're gonna if you have a choice between a candy bar and these you know that's that's a good choice yeah. to have to make they're just, they i just i think they're excellent but they are kind of expensive for an ice cream bar but they're but they're very very good. great quality yeah. so a lot of you all love them too so you know okay okay these were the kroger protein and fiber mm. uh, greek yogurt coated granola bars this was the cherry almond these are only 170 calories of course it's a kroger brand so i know some of you can't get these but if you do have kroger in your area or ralph's or something similar that sells kroger products then the, the uh, there were two of these bars in the review they were both very very good I just happen to like the flavor of the cherry almond. You know, that's just my thing. And um, so, yes, very, very good quality bars. So you want me okay. to go? Okay. Yeah. And these are gonna probably surprise you all. Uh, they're pure protein. So we found these at Meyer. It was actually a fluke. I was looking for some, some bars that we were gonna review. And we, in Meyer, we went to an area we never go to, which is their healthy, like, Atkins bars mm -hmm. and stuff like that, that area, which is over in the pharmacy type yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're like the protein mix and, and stuff. stuff like that. Yeah, we just never go over there at all because we were not buying uh, Tylenol and stuff like that. And so, these said new on them, uh, Pure Protein Puffs. This brick oven pizza, I think we had like a cheese one and mm -hmm. then the pizza one, it was so good. It was, was it good. came as a complete shock because I picked them up because they said no, thinking, yeah, we'll try them, but we'll see. You know, you, you never know. Um, I would actually eat these all the time and it's only 130 calories for this bag. They're delicious. I don't care if you're on a certain diet or not these were good of course it's gonna be more expensive than regular puffs but probably yeah. i don't remember i don't know how much they I'm cost sure they if were. you want to know the prices of any of this stuff we talk about you have to go back click on the video or to be sure where where we bought it stuff like that um i pretty much remember where we bought everything yeah. Yeah, i'm pretty, pretty good, good at that but no, just man. not how much they cost so 
All right, so I'm gonna do, I'll do this one. This was IGA, and some of you said, I didn't know IGAs were around anymore. We didn't either. <laughs> um, this was the wavy cheddar and sour cream potato chips. The truth be told, all their potato chips are really good, the IGA brand. Yeah. Um, we we kind of like all of them, but this was like the, the best one we could mm -hmm. have. Um, if you like the sour cream and onion, like Lay's, or not sour cream and onion, well, cheddar and sour cream or sour cream and onion, these these are a really good mix of those two. They're, they're just excellent chips that I finished these off. Um, I'll tell you a little secret. Um, I would, uh, besides not talking about the food, um, I wouldn't have known we had an IGA. What I did was I did a Google search because I thought, you know, Kevin and I are constantly going in different grocery stores. I love going in different grocery stores looking for foods, just like when we go to over to the UK. What am I doing? I'm going grocery shopping, yeah, you know, because yeah, I like doing that. And, um, and Kevin does too, truth be told. So what I did was I did a Google search for grocery stores in Lexington, Kentucky. And it popped up uh, with IGA and it's like, whoa, I, I didn't know we had IGAs. And so these, uh, there's two, these two particular IGAs are connected to, it's like a massive- uh, Like a gas station. A gas station. Yeah. But it is literally, you walk in there and it's bright and clean and, it's immaculate in there. Yeah. It's bigger than like your traditional convenience store. Yes. But it's not as big as like a full on grocery store. It's kind of, it's But it's small. pretty, it, but it's, it's a pretty good, good size. size. It's, it's, they it's, have everything. They yeah. have probably they five have or six different sections of and, halls. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, it's nice. So that's the reason I'm telling you this is because it, that would be a good search to do in your area. If you like going to grocery stores too, like we do, type in whatever your city is and see if, see what pops up for you on Google because that's how I found mm -hmm. out that we have an IGA. So we'll have to, every few months, we'll have to check back. It's not in an area we're in all the time. No, that's but, kind of uh, right. but yeah, it was just really, really nice. And I think they're both fairly new too. So. Yes, yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, we were just really impressed. And they had, uh, they had produce and everything yeah, in there. Had... I mean, they had a everything you would find in a grocery store. Yeah, I think they even it, had a little meat section. Yeah, yeah. it was just smaller amounts yeah. is what it was. Yeah. Um, so back to the favorites. These are the uh, Frankfurt brand Oreo cookies and cream egg. And uh, I, I will be honest with you. I finished off these. This Surprisingly. Kevin went in. <laughs> Cause I had been getting like one, you know, one or two a day, just sneaking through the kitchen and grabbing one, and eating it. Um, so I went in there to get one. Was that yesterday? Yeah. Or the day before? It was, was it, yeah. It was, it was just a few days ago. And I was gonna get one, and I look in there, it's like they're all gone. It's like, well, she'd been messing with like Easter eggs and candy for Easter and stuff like that. So I thought she'd take them and put them up. And I said, why'd you take all those he eggs? He thought out I'd of the put them up to give to the kids yeah. in their Easter basket. I said I was eating on those eggs. Why did you take them away? And she said, I ate them all. I ate them all. I literally. <laughs> and he's like, you mean you put them up? I said, no, I ate them all. He said. Oh, I mean, it took him a little minute to, for it to literally dawn on him that, oh, she means she ate them. Yes, I ate them. I ate at least 20 at a time. That I mean, wasn't that many, it, but there was probably eight in it there. It was, a, oh no, it was more than eight. Was there more than eight? Yes, because I ate them over two days. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was, I ate like eight the first day, but then I ate like <laughs> another eight the next day. Yes. They were very good. And I don't even know how many, see, the, the dangerous thing too is, I didn't have the package with the calories. We just had poured the loose eggs in the drawer. So this package was up with where I put my stuff for my favorites, because I knew I was gonna talk about it. So I didn't know how many calories they were a piece. It says three or 150, so I'm just- 50 calories a piece, man. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I was thinking like 20. Oh, these are 20 a piece, pop. 20 a piece, pop. Uh, yeah. I, They're yes. very good though. They're the textures addictive. are good. They got big hunks of cookie in them. And and even though they're Frankfurt brand, they taste identical. I've eaten enough, trust me. They taste identical. If you like Hershey's cookies and cream candy bar, that's what this tastes yeah, like. They do. They're exactly the same. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference. And it's easy to eat a lot of them. Just I thought it kinda had an almond barky kind of flavor too, but maybe yeah. not quite as strong. I have warned you. 
All right, so my last thing is the Snyder's of Hanover, um, the Twisted Pretzel Stick, the Jalapeno Ranch. And Tammy was sorting this out. I said, wow, something smells like jalapeno. This bag still smells like literally green jalapeno peppers. Anytime we uh, we would touch, mm. Kevin could get those out for a snack and, and pour them in a bowl and pour them in a bowl and walk past a room in this house, and I could I knew that he oh, yeah. in that bag. It's very very strong, mm -hmm. um, but the flavors were strong. But they were they were they were hot, but they weren't like super super hot. But they were very strong flavors. So if you're if you want to be breathing on anybody afterwards, don't get either one of these twisted flavors they had that, that we tried. Um, but I thought they were really good, and the, and the textures are good. They they've got like a ton of powder on them, so the seasoning's really strong. They're just good. If you like the smell and the flavor of jalapeno, then it, it's not an off-putting smell. No, it doesn't no, smell. It's very pie. green smell. No, um, and then before we go to move on to lunchtime review stuff. Um, the, the last thing I want us to talk about, and I say this for last because I just can't even say enough uh, good things you can say about that. this. Uh, this was the <laughs> Creamalicious ice cream. We found these at Meyer. These were the only three flavors available to us at this time mm -hmm. at Meyer. Now, we will of course check back. Uh, this was the uh, Slap Yo Mama Banana Pudding. This was Aunt Poonie's Caramel Pound Cake. And Thick as Thieves Pecan Pie. Um, and all three of them are in our favorites. Yeah, all, yes, yeah, which is rare that all three of the same brand. These are made in Cincinnati, Ohio. I would put these ice creams toe to toe with Graters. Yeah, with any of them. Hagen Dazs. Yeah. These are just as good, if not better, than those. I promise you. And that is saying a lot because Graters is fantastic ice mm -hmm. cream. I'm telling you, this is... I hope they don't change a thing mm -hmm. about any of this. Because sometimes they realize, oh, our price is too low for what we put in there, so we need to reduce the stuff. I right. hope they don't do we that. We need to change things. I, I hope they never change And they're fairly new in the stores. They haven't been yeah. in, really in stores long. I finished all three of these. Yes, Kevin. Um, I end up liking probably the thickest these pecan pie the best. Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't remember what I said in the video. I think we chose the, the caramel. caramel pound cake because it had that I uh, really alcohol. Like, I really flavor. like the caramel, but I think I like the those sugary pecans, um, which is like it's literally like pecans and they're coated in like brown sugar. Brown sugar. And then like stuck in the ice cream, Phenomenal. so you get you get this sugary thick. Um, sugar texture. It was just, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you can't even talk enough about it. And if you go to their website, they have all kinds of flavors. Yeah, we're hoping we get more we, in our area. Yes, we really do because uh, they're just absolutely yeah. terrific. Or the company can just smell us. Oh, that would be nice too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're close to Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. It might not be that expensive. Yeah. Uh, Dude, just, just get some guy that works there, drive them down here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, play, we'll meet you halfway. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> we could meet them at Jungle Gyms and they could just give us. No, a... I don't want to go to Jungle Gyms. <laughs> That's too long. Ago. We're kidding. Okay, now we have Kevin has another channel. It's called Lunchtime Review where he reviews uh, frozen foods, things that can be made for you at work. Uh, five yeah, that's days the a whole. Week. That's the whole general principle. Is these are things. My time review is things you can make at work. So he knows. Lunch. He knows that most of the meals, especially frozen meals, we know they're better in the oven. Yeah. I try to say that in every video. We know that, but that's not the purpose of that channel. The purpose of the channel is is if you're buying this to take with you to lunch, as so many people do, yeah. it's going to be have good. Yeah, and we he only buys things that have like microwave directions on them. We look at things like that because some fro things in the frozen department will will say oven only. Yeah, because there's been a couple of things I've said, oh, I would love to try that. You have to bake it. You have to bake yeah. it. So we only get the microwave. So anyway. So this one is um, Trader Joe's, isn't it? Trader yeah, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Um, Mandarin style orange chicken bowl and uh, this was just excellent I gave it a five out of five uh, that's how I rate things out of five um, it was $6.98 is the price that we paid for it um, someone in the comments said that we paid twice as much Trader Joe's receipts are, are really stupid um, they literally don't tell you much about it and they just list the item and that's it all I can tell you is that was the price that was on our receipt. So whether they charged us, overcharged us for it, maybe their system was messed up and they and it charged more, 
I don't That's know. That's not the price on their website. If you go to their website, it's only three something. Yeah. So we paid more for it. So all, but like I said, all I can go by is what was on the receipt. We look at the receipt, we check them off as we go. We write down exactly what's on the receipt, not yeah. from memory. So, uh, so that's what the receipt. So, anyway, what rating did you give? This that? is a five out of five. five it was five. excellent. The meat was good. The uh, the textures were good. The flavors were good. And you wouldn't think orange chicken. You would think it would be really strong. It wasn't. The the flavors were just spot on. Very well balanced uh, flavors. So, uh, also on lunchtime review, if you're interested in fast food or food from restaurants, which you could get at work. Once, yes, you could. Anytime you can get curbside, and and you can get from any restaurant. He could go to Outback Steakhouse, you know, and and get it. Might do that. Uh, yeah, haven't done that <laughs> haven't yet. Done that have one, you? Yeah. Um, you could. Um, can you imagine them delivering you a, a blooming onion or something? That's a big old steak. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you could do that. Um, he, so once a week uh, on Thursdays, those videos are uploaded. So maybe you're not interested in frozen food, but you might be interested in Kevin going through the drive-thru. Because when he goes through a drive-thru, he keeps the camera going and he actually takes you through the drive-thru. You can hear the person where he, who he's ordering from and all that. Except the few cases where you have to go in. Right. Or, or you know, yeah, sometimes uh, you do have to go in places and he doesn't film that, but you still get to see the food and yeah. all that. Um, so, this month, uh, you went to, uh, I have to remind him because, you know, remember. Sam's Hot Dog Stand. Yeah. Uh, and you got the Huntington Chester and you got a Polish sausage with mustard, onions, and sauerkraut. Yeah, it was okay. And then you went to Wendy's and you got a Pretzen Bacon bacon pub cheeseburger mm -hmm. and then you went to Dairy Queen and you got the rotisserie style chicken bites fries and gravy which is wasn't what he was supposed to get it turned out being the gravy was actually really good but, but what were you supposed to get some kind of ranch they were supposed to Sour have cream? a no a homemade ranch a ranch, ranch yeah ranch. and it, that was the whole deal with the meal is you get this new ranch that, and, and I even said ranch and they and, still got me and gravy. He got gravy. Which gravy and fries, by the way, it's pretty daggone pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> so you would like poutine? Oh, that's brown gravy though. Oh. This was a white gravy, okay. like a country style gravy. Okay. Pepper gravy. The last place you went was <clears throat> Popeyes, and you had the Cajun flounder sandwich. Uh, out of the out of those, I can tell you immediately it's Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's. Okay, the pretzel bacon yeah. bacon pub cheeseburger. The hot dogs were okay. I mean, it's just hot dogs. You can literally do it at home just as easy as you could uh, anywhere. Uh -huh. um, just buy a package of them at, at home and microwave. I microwave sausages when I have, when I buy sausages. Um, Johnsonville. Johnsonville or those other ones even. Yeah. Um, the polar sausages, you wrap them up in a paper towel, stick them in the microwave for like 45 seconds per sausage or no. Yeah, about 45 seconds. Plenty hot enough that you don't need to. to that's how dry. I when I get the Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar. That's how I, yeah. especially during the winter when you don't want to go out and stand in the cold or something. Yeah. So they're good. In the so microwave. you can buy every bit of that if you wanted to at home and make it a, a lot easier. And th it was okay, flavor wise, it was okay. The Dairy Queen rotisserie chicken. The chicken was good. Um, it was just very teeny tiny little pieces of chicken for what you paid. I think I think it's overpriced. Um, and I don't even know if I said that during the review, but I think it was way overpriced for what you got. Mm -hmm. um, the Cajun Funner sandwich, I, I gave it a good rating. It was good. Um, most of what you tasted was the seasoning on the breading, and you didn't really get the fish flavor. Um, after I ate the whole sandwich, by the time I got to the end, the last two bites I think I took, I actually got a little bit of a fish flavor. But the rest of the entire sandwich was all breading seasoning, breading seasoning. Right. But it was funny, like the last few bites, like, oh, there's fish. Right. <laughs> so, so if you're looking for a fish sandwich, you're not going to get it there. I think you rated that Sam's hot dog stand pretty good. I think I did. It was the flavors were good. Like I said, it was just for what you get. I mean, you could get it at home. I didn't right. say it was bad. For the it's price. Just, yeah, it's just it's. I mean, if you've got one, go there and get you if you're interested in a hot dog. Um, I would never actually buy just a hot dog though. I would always buy like a polar sausage or something with something like right. that, you know. Um, but anyway, the yeah, the Wendy's, the pub cheese, um, it was like that thick pub cheese. It's not quite like beer cheese. It's like a thicker pub cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, it had that on there with, with bacon. I mean, it's just really You really like good. Wendy's anyway. I like Wendy's. Kevin's right. always and, liked Wendy's. And, you know, um, I like their french fries. And, and, and comments, some people said they didn't like their fries. No, and they don't like their fries at all. Well, I really they said like that they get cold very, very, very quickly. That's probably true, but I try to eat them first. 
so they're fresh. Yes, we uh, we both do that. That's yeah, a that's habit. The first thing that, I that's do. what we do. If we go to Culver's, we eat the fries first and then move on to the rest of the meal. It's not a eat a fry and eat a, eat the burger. Eat, no. no, I leave the burger wrapped up in whatever it's in. Yes, and we eat all the French fries first so that they're they're really nice yeah. and hot. So, but I like their fries. I think I like that potato. So, though. where would if you had to pick one to never visit again? If I if I never bought one of those things again, yeah, uh, probably the Sam's. I could live without oh, a hot dog. dog and a polar sausage forever. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> if I needed to. Right. And my second would be honestly the Dairy Queen rotisserie bites. I don't think they're worth the money. The yeah the yeah the rotisserie bites. They were well, just too small. And the picture of it, if you saw that, the picture of it, it just it kind of looked pitiful. It, the I teeny it tiny did. little squares. I mean, literally. You could take one little strip of chicken and cut it into squares and get more out of it than you yeah. got out of that one yeah, little thing I got. So. so anyway, that is it for February. March is a longer month. We've got a couple more days in March, so um, it'll be fun to see uh, what comes along for uh, probably more Easter type stuff, I would think. We'll see. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.